All right. So it's do or die, doom or gloom. All right. It's actually not anything near as bad as that. All right. But it is the week when if you're an investor, speculator, trader, you're listening for news about the Fed, about interest rates, what is going to happen? Are they going to raise it by a quarter percent, a half percent, or a surprise three quarters of a percent? Well, you know, whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. If you ask me, whatever they're gonna do is already baked in the cake, which then makes you think, well, what should I be invested in for the future? Well, in other words, we're gonna quickly move through this and move past it. And if you ask me, not that anyone's actively asking me because I'm kind of here and there's nobody. If you ask me, there is a kind of stock that most people say are trash, terrible, except that they have like this amazing track record of going up and going up huge in very, very, very short periods of time very short periods of time. And it often happens after these interest rate type moves. You're probably thinking, oh, what's, what's, what's this dude talking about? What's this dude talking about? Is he talking about disruption stocks? No. Is he talking about ARK Innovation ETF? Nope. Maybe he's talking about Teladoc, it got hit. Nope. All right. I'm gonna reveal all here. I'm talking about meme stocks. Stocks like GameStop, stocks like AMC, stocks that have a certain speculative taboo quality to them. You know, if you go onto all the usual websites, Market Watch, Yahoo Finance, Wall Street Journal, even all of our esteemed gurus that are at my publishing company, I would say there is a consensus that meme stocks, they're terrible, they're awful, nobody should invest in them. Only dumb, stupid people like me, <laughs> I own AMC, full disclosure, I own a lot of AMC, only dumb people like me invest in that. And the truth is, is that there is really good reason why these meme stocks have just rocketed up. I recommended GameStop in our Extreme Fortunes, which is our small cap subscription service. And we sold out because truthfully, the pressure that I was getting from everybody telling me what a terrible stock it was made me fold and bad on me. But that's never gonna happen again. That's never gonna happen again. Uh, I stick to my convictions on this um, because we bought in somewhere near three or four and we ended up selling at 14. And look where it is today. I mean, AMC, you know, is this huge winner. And at the peak, I mean, it was up just insane, crazy, crazy amounts. Um, even AMC, I mean, at the low was two and now it's at 16 and at the high it was like 74. And I think it's going to go even higher. Again, full disclosure, I own it. So obviously biased, obviously precious. But the truth is, is that these are not the only stocks that are out there. Meme stocks are a category of stock that in another time, in my judgment, these would be the true value stocks of our time. These would be the true value stocks of our time. Because when you go and look at them, you actually find that these companies have extraordinary, incredible value. And it is a social opinion that there's something wrong with them that is keeping them repressed and compressed and low. A social opinion, like a reverse meme, like a, an alternate world of like bizarro expectations about the world and how the world should work and what companies like GameStop or AMC or other meme stocks should trade at. So I 
can see that if you go back to 2020, when you again had a period just like this, where a lot of stocks like meme stocks and others had really been destroyed, just completely destroyed. And then there was Fed action that happened. In that case, it was lowering interest rates. In this case, it's rising interest rate. But the key is where the world had anticipated negative things, things going terrible, where there was this pervasive sense of gloom and doom that things could only go wrong. That was the environment in which meme stocks just took off and rocketed off. And the truth is, is that if you went and looked at the meme stocks, they were real businesses. There were, there were companies that held millions of dollars in cash. But what there was also was this narrative that they were declining businesses and they were going to go to zero, even though when you went and looked at them logically, factually, and made your determination based on these things, you could actually see that, hey, these companies were perhaps struggling to deal with what every company is dealing with today, which is digital disruption, digital transition. Still, they had a product or service that was beloved, that is beloved, not just was beloved, it was beloved by the millennial generation and Gen Z that grew up with them and is attached to their brands, their products, their services. Now, I believe you can actually extend this kind of thinking to like a lot of companies whose stocks have just been destroyed because of this social negative meme matrix thing that's been going on where, you know, the MBA type people that are like, like just addicted to the S&P 500 and just making these like tiny little bets, you know, they're like, well, it doesn't fit our way of thinking. So it's completely wrong. And so all these stocks forget about them. In fact, we're going to go short. And so when retail traders, apes, DGENs, strong hands nations folks, we come in and buy, we put pressure on these stocks to go up. And now you start to have a lot of analysis that actually is more reasonable and says, wait a second, they've got hundreds of millions of dollars in cash. They actually have a business. They actually have a great business. They have a customer base that doesn't go anywhere. It is only the social negativity matrix that is keeping them down. And when that happens, the demand for the stock pushes it up. And now it goes back to trading for much more reasonable, appropriate levels. So that's where I would tell you that with the kind of moves we've had in the stock market over the last seven months, really since September, when the Federal Reserve said, we're going to raise interest rates. And the gloom and doomers, the MBAers, the index huggers, the index hogs, the the folks with Harvard MBAs that think they know everything, um, and they say that, hey, GameStop should be worth nothing, AMC should be worth nothing, Bed Bath & Beyond should be worth nothing, Uh, they should all go bankrupt so that they can get rich. Well, those folks are wrong. And there's other stocks out there. And I'm about to actually launch a video talking about this opportunity, talking about these rebel stocks and these rebel traders that are going against the norm, that are pushing back and saying, hey, these companies are actually good investments. And not only that, we believe in these companies and we are going to support them. So that's really the place where if I was putting money into today and say, hey, I think that the Federal Reserve's moves are discounted, meaning that it's already put into prices, where are you likely to see the biggest bang for your buck as the Federal Reserve releases news that are, that is expected, already anticipated and priced in meme stocks? This is where I would go. So check into meme stocks, your favorite meme stock. You can obviously go on Reddit and you can find it. We've got a few in some of our portfolios. Meme stocks generally are stocks that are sort of under $5. They have some brands, products, and services that are beloved by the millennial generation and Gen Z. And they've got short interest in this pervasive negativity matrix that's sort of like always overlaid on top of them. Um, I can't give away the two stocks that uh, I'm gonna focus my presentation on, but, 
look out for something in email. If you don't belong to our free email list, that's an easy way to be informed. It's called Bull Profits Daily. So check into that. There'll be details down below and come back next week for another video. Bye.